apparently Young Threat shot his big brother's girlfriend, man. This is crazy. This is sad, mo. And this is damn right stupid, man. I ain't even gonna lie. The rap game is terrible right now in the DMV. Like, this shit is sad, mo. I'm gonna tell y'all the story, bro. So, apparently, Young Threat was chilling on the block, man. He cooling in the hood. He see that car, man. He watching that car. He on in that car, man. And it turned out nobody was in that car but a female, man. This is why I say guns and drugs are a very bad combination. Because I'm, I'm 100% certain. Not saying he guilty. Not saying he innocent, man. I'm an innocent until proven guilty type of person. But imagine the type of drugs you got to be off of. The head of the car with a female in it, thinking it's the ops, man. And she said she was taking the baby out the car. So, does that mean the baby? Do babies look like Dracos or Choppers? Or that, man? This don't make no sense, man. Then on top of that, bruh, if this is the shit the rappers going through, bruh, y'all might as well be some J Cole type artists, bro. I don't see DMV rap going nowhere if this type of activity continues, y'all. This shit is borderline sad, bro. Shooting a female, man. That that That's what you stopping that car on, man. If she ain't pull up with the ops. She ain't had no niggas with her. It was just her and the baby in a traumatic situation, man. This is terrible, man. And y'all niggas need some guidance. It seems like the youngins out here shooting with their eyes closed and the switching on them, man. Y'all got real life start think about thinking about what y'all doing out here, man. Y'all only get one life, man. And y'all don't want to spend the rest of y'all life in jail trying to impress some niggas, man. I'm telling y'all, that's going to be the worst feeling ever for y'all, man. If y'all realize y'all doing all this time and the time ain't helping y'all and y'all not about to learn nothing or gain nothing from the time y'all getting, y'all going to be in jail with a whole bunch of niggas talking about some man. I used to listen to your music, man. I used to crank with you. Man, what's up with that commissary, Mo? You got to see me. Y'all going to be friends one day, fighting the next, man. That's why I be trying to tell y'all niggas. This shit does not be worth it, man. It don't be worth it at all, bruh. And the more y'all try to make it seem like it's worth it, bruh, the more that this shit is not worth it, bruh. Y'all only get one life. Y'all already in motion. When it comes to this entertainment shit, you got one time to drop the ball, bruh, no matter what it is, incarcerated, whatever. You drop that ball, that career over, man. Now, I'm hoping Threat don't get no long time, but if he get found guilty of this, man, Threat career is going to be down the drain for a minute, bro. We waiting on J-Mo. We waiting on Jamoka. We waiting on uh, Savage. And, man, hopefully 3 Osama can keep this going. But, bro, at the end of the day, bro, this shit happened every other day out here. I don't know, man. I feel like this is some stupid shit. This is the dumbest shit I ever reported on, bro. I'm very disappointed. And this shit, man, at the end of the day, bro, ain't no excuse for this shit, bro. If he if he guilty of this shit, man, whatever come with it, come with it. Ain't no excuses to this, man. But at the same time, man, if you a rapper, I'm going to say this one last time. If you a rapper, bro, you guys got to be mindful of what y'all got going on. Because y'all not stopping nobody career but y'all own. Y'all not... Y'all not damaging nobody else's career. Y'all not stopping nobody motion. Y'all not even hurting y'all ops right now. Right now, y'all hurting y'all selves more than y'all hurting y'all ops. Y'all ops not in no pain. Y'all ops not going through it from this shit. Y'all ops is sitting back laughing at y'all while y'all worry about everything but y'all real ops, man. And that's what this generation wants y'all to do. They want y'all all to crash out, man. And then when y'all get older, y'all gonna say, man, these other people taking our jobs. They taking our opportunity. It's not enough opportunity in the city. And the whole time, y'all throwing that shit away every day, man. Will Young Threat continue to be the war vet, man? Or will down the line he become the booty vet, man?
Because I'm telling y'all, right now he out there trying to hit people with the Drake and take souls, man. But what happened when 10, 20 years passed down the line in the system, man? And he like, man, I can't get no coochie. I settled for some butt. And he get to going at the man. <laughs> hey, Mo. I got to go ahead with that shit, though. But, no, nah, though, this is sad, bro. I ain't even going to lie. My prayers go out to that girl and her baby, man. I hope they got it. I hope they doing good, bro. Other than that, bro, this shit is ridiculous, bro. And we should be ashamed that the DMV has this type of shit going on right now, bro. These Brandon Buckinghams and other, you know, people who come in the 37th showing y'all love. They not showing y'all love for y'all to crash out and be out here watching cars. They showing y'all love so that y'all could get out the hood and better y'all y'all lives, man. If y'all don't see that the people on the outside believe in y'all, how y'all gonna see within y'all selves that people believe in y'all, man? Y'all gotta stop this shit, bro. The streets is not real, bro. And it's gonna take you till you 30 and 40 to realize the streets is not real. The streets is broken. The streets is not the same streets that we grew up on, man. The morals and principles that we grew up on, man, are no longer existent, man. I be trying to tell y'all this, man, so y'all can see it, believe it, and understand it. So y'all don't throw y'all lives away and y'all do it every time. Young booty back on hop in that car. And we had the time in life where... A lot of y'all should have told Young Booty Vet don't hop in that car. I told Young Threat don't hop in that car. I told him he got the city washing him. And he ain't care about that shit. These niggas don't be caring. So with that, I'm going to just say this, man. We got to find some VA artists to get behind, man. We got to get somebody from Smith Street, man. We got to get somebody who come from a good home, man. We got to get somebody who capping in they raps and stand behind them. Because when y'all stand behind these real niggas and all y'all can say about these niggas is, yeah, man, I know them. I know people around them. They really like that. Being really like that don't keep you out on the streets, man. Being really like that does not stop you from crashing out. You fucking show these niggas some real support and love, man. But right now, it just seems like these niggas is crashing out for fun, man. Like I said, my prayers go out to this girl, man. The DMV really need help at this point, bro. I'm getting tired of saying stupid shit like this every day, bro. If you a rapper, I repeat, if you a rapper, stop crashing out. I don't care who your homie is. is. That's your homie crash out, bro. Keep rapping. I can't say, like, opposed to the rappers he be around, bro. Nobody around Threat was putting up the hundred Ks besides the rappers he was around, bro. He shouldn't have been crashing. This man has all types of internet monetizable mockability, bro. They throwing that shit away. It's your boy the one.